Okay, girls. Lesson 5, Chapter 5, Pythagorean Theorem. We need to know the vocabulary. So the Pythagorean Theorem comes from the Greek uh, uh, mathematician. His name was Pythagoras. So he's the one who developed the Pythagorean Theorem. When you see the Pythagorean Theorem, you can only use it with the right triangle. No other triangle can you use this. Are we clear? Now, what is a right triangle? One of the angles in the triangle has to be 90 degrees. It can look exactly like this, okay? Face left, no, face right, left, upside, it doesn't matter. As long as one of the angles inside is 90 degrees, okay? Now, the right triangle has three sides. These three sides have specific names. You need to know the names. One of the names is hypotenuse. What is an hypotenuse? It's the longest side of the right triangle. It is the shortest distance between two points that form a right triangle. It is called C. It is the side that is opposite of the right angle. So it is the side opposite the right angle. Okay? The longest side of the right triangle the shortest distance between two points that form a right triangle, C, or the side opposite the right angle. Now, okay, we need to find here. Now, the other part of the right triangle are called legs. Because you need three sides. So one side is the hypotenuse, the other two are legs. Okay? The two sides that are perpendicular. We talked about this vocabulary the other day. Where you meet, you make the 90 degree angle. So perpendicular are two lines when they meet, they make the 90 degree angle. They're also called the base and height of a right triangle. They're also called A and B the two shorter sides of the right triangle. So all these can be used to tell you legs. You need to know. The question will say find the legs. The question might say find A and B, like that. Or the question will tell you find the base and the height of the triangle. You should know you're looking for A and B. Okay? Or find the two perpendicular sides. It is telling you to find the legs. So the two shorter sides of the right triangle, A and B, has to be smaller than C. Both of them have to be smaller than C, okay? The two sides that form the 90 degree angle. So all these are names to describe the legs. Now let's look at the picture. So this is a leg and this is a leg. So you label leg one, leg two, you label A, B. When you draw this right triangle, once you see the 90 degree angle, I want you to draw this arrow. We're opposite side. See where it's going? Now, this opposite side is where you will put C. You cannot put C on the 90 degree angle. You put C on the diagonal line. Good. Now, I just remembered. A and B, they have to be the vertical and the horizontal. The vertical and horizontal sides. Uh, here, the hypotenuse has to be the diagonal side. The diagonal side. Okay? Make sure you put that. All right. Now, you need to draw this triangle. You need to label. So, all these are names for this side. Hypotenuse. Okay? Height. The height. When I measure your height, I start from head to toe. The base. Okay? So this is how you label the right triangle. Now, what is the Pythagorean theorem? The Pythagorean theorem is A squared plus B squared equals to C squared or C squared equals to A squared plus B squared. This is the Pythagorean theorem. Do we understand? Now, 
If A, now you need to discuss what is the converse. So for you to make a converse, you have to start with if. So if a triangle is a right triangle, then A squared plus B squared equals to C squared. This is what I'm calling a statement. So first make a statement and then start with the statement the opposite way. So here I said if a triangle is right, then A squared plus B squared is C squared. For me to say the converse, I have to start with this side. If A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared, then the triangle is a right triangle. For you to be a right triangle, this has to be true. If this is false, this is, that triangle is not right. Okay? Now let's look here. You've been given an example. Given A equals 3 and B equals 4, find the value of C. I like drawing pictures. So step one, draw a picture. This is A, this is B, so this will be C. Okay. Find the value of C in the right triangle. In the right triangle. Okay. So then I label A is 3, B is 4, I don't know C. I use this formula. I write a squared plus b squared equals to c squared this is c squared this is not c i still have to find c three squared plus four squared equals to c squared three times three plus four times four equals to c squared nine plus sixteen equals to c squared twenty five equals to c squared now for me to find c i have to do square root of 25 and square root of c squared square root of c squared is c square root of 25 is 5 plus or minus because i don't have units i cannot use the negative side because these are measurements so my answer for c is 5 Okay, uh, we can do this another way. C equals the square root of A squared plus B squared. 3 squared plus 4 squared. 9 plus 16. Square root of 25 plus or minus 5. Since it is distance, I only need the positive. C, and this is my answer. I can do it this way, or I can do it this way. Okay? Now, you've been given the right triangle. They told you to find B. If they told you to find B, this is automatically A. This is automatically C. Like that. Label your triangle. Find the value of B in this triangle. So there is two ways of you doing it. You can either use this formula. So write A squared plus B squared equals to C squared. A squared plus B squared equals to 18 squared. 64 plus B squared. What is 18 squared? 18 squared. Three twenty four. Three twenty four minus sixty four minus sixty four. B squared equals to to sixty. Okay. All right. Then now I need to find B. Find the square root of B squared and find the square root of two sixty. B equals, come to my calculator, square root of 260 
it is a decimal. I am going to round. If the question tell me to the nearest hundred, then you round correctly. So B equals 16 point 12. There is my answer. Another way I can do this, B equals the square root of C squared minus A squared. Okay, C squared is 18 squared minus 8 squared. 324 minus 64. Square root of 260. Which equals to 16.12. B. So two different ways of you doing the same question. This is the question. <coughs> okay. All right. Let us do another question. Find it. Okay. The other question is here. Find the value of A in this triangle. Label. This is C. This is B. Here you have units. Okay. So we're going to do it two ways. A squared plus B squared equals to C squared. I don't know A. I know B. I know C. A squared plus 100 equals 125. Confirm. You should know your times table. Two twenty five, sorry. Two twenty five. All right, minus a hundred, minus a hundred. A squared. Cross this out. A squared equals one twenty five. Okay. One twenty five. Then do the square root of both sides. Square root of A squared is A. Square root of 125. Press SD to get the decimal. You can leave it like that. Wait. Your answer can be written like that. 5 root of 5. Or you can get the decimal. Round it to the nearest hundredth. Or the way the question says, so 11.18, put the units because the question gave you units. Okay? So this is your answer. Another way of you doing it is by saying A equals the square root of C squared minus B squared. Remember, C is always bigger than B, and C is also bigger than A. So when you check your work, you check to make sure that the numbers you have written match the rule. 15 squared, 225, minus 10 squared, which is 100, square root of 125, 5 root of 5. 11 and 1800 centimeter this is your answer so i've shown you two different ways you choose the easiest way that is up to you make that decision by yourself okay now a question will say i have given you three sides these three sides Tell me if they make a right triangle. So what is the question asking you? Are the three numbers you have been given Pythagorean triples? That's what the question is saying. So Pythagorean triples are three numbers that make the sides of a right triangle. And how will you know? So you've been given these three numbers, you label. The smallest is A. 
The second one is B. You arrange them from least to greatest. The third one is C. A is smaller than B. B is smaller than C. Don't mix them. Now you check if this is a Pythagorean triple. A squared plus B squared equals to C squared. 3 squared plus 4 squared equals to 5 squared. 9 plus 16 should equal 25. 25 equal 25. Then you say yes. 3, yes. 3, 4, and 5 are the sides of a right triangle. Are the sides of a right triangle. Now, do for these three. I'm not going to do them for you. You try them by yourself. Also, find out more. You should know Pythagorean triples like this without calculating. You should know them. Get me at least 10 more. Write them down in your notebook. 10 more Pythagorean triples. Find them on Google. Okay? So, I think I am done. Finished answering your questions. And that is what lesson 5 is about. Please do DOK 1. Two and three one time do the examples a b c d e uh, the ones in your book you gotta do them in your blue book because i don't think you have space because you have to do a lot of calculation i want you to do them in your blue book divide your book into five parts because you have a b c d e and draw the picture draw these pictures don't just do the work without drawing Draw the picture. Even here, draw the picture. Draw the picture for this question. Okay? So that is it. And you finish um, your lesson one, your lesson one, three, four, and five, independent practice. Um, what is the other one? Independent practice, hot problems, page, and power up for every lesson that we do okay all right i will not be on my phone because i need to leave so make sure i won't be able to answer your questions until late at night